known to us as Ramuji. He's not a stranger to Singapore. He has been visiting Singapore for the last few years. He has spoken in many forums. The last one was under the auspices of Hindu Hindu Center when they organized the, the International Forum for a day. More importantly, he has been speaking in uh, Sri Shivan Temple on Mahashivaratri day, actually it's evening, and we have tested it. We used to be assigned graveyard shift to him between 11.30 and 1 o'clock, followed by another shift between 3 and 4.30. We told him the first session should be in English, the next one should be in Tamil. And we gave him topics ranging from Jnana to Bhakti. In all these tests, he came out with flying colors. Even at 3 in the morning, there were about 1,500 to 2,000 people listening to him with rapt attention. I went around amongst the crowd. I did not see any of them young. I think he also agrees, due to purely the grace of his guru, Sri Sri Muralidhar Swaminathan, he has made rapid strides in the last few years in terms of content, coverage, and depth. He is now a pivotal force in an organization formed by his guru called Global Organization for Divinity, in short, God. This was created to handle program for young adults, professionals, and the public at large in achieving inner transformation. Secondly, show simple path of prayers with some divine namas to all open-minded rural and urban folks in striking harmony in life. Lecture on the third one, the lectures on scriptures to expose the ancient wisdom for modern times. Sometime back, Sri Sri Muralidhar Swami asked me to open the doors for Ramuji in difficult developing geographies like Africa as he felt the ancient wisdom of ours should be spread in difficult countries. In case you find Ramuji not visiting Singapore often enough, you know the reason. Now, it's time for handing Ramuji over to you all, and I'm sure he will do his best in continuation of the last two sessions. Ramuji,